Here we have the dictionary name dict, this time with the correct last name. Let's see what happens when we address a key that is not found in the dictionary. Print dict square brackets string occupation. We get an error called key error and it says that we have a problem with the key occupation. Now let's use the get method. First we will use it on a key that can be found in the dictionary. For example, print dict period get brackets and let's go with birth year. The program returns 1943. What is the data type of this value? Let's continue. We'll use the method get on a key that cannot be found in a dictionary. So for example, print dict get and again, occupation. This time the program returns the value none. Now we want the program to return something else and not none. We can do this also with the get method. So print dict get so first we write the key occupation and now we will define the default value if the key is not found. Let's say we want to put a sad smiley face. And the program returns the sad smiley face because it could not find the key occupation in our dictionary. Now we can look at the other three methods, keys, values and items. First we'll look at the keys in our dictionaries. Print, dict, keys, open and close brackets, and we can see that the program returned a list of all the keys found in our dictionary. If we want to extract all the values in a dictionary and put them in a list, we can use the values method. So print dict values, open close brackets, and now the program returned values from our dictionary. The items method will extract all the key value pairs and put them in a list. So print dict items and we see a list of key value pairs from our dictionary. 